The Volat U2 lamb feeders come in two sizes. The 25 litre feeder, which is designed for 20 lambs, and the 50 litre feeder, which is designed for up to 40 lambs. The feeder comes in two parts, the inner and outer bucket. The outer bucket, which contains the heater element, and the heater element is controlled by a thermostatic switch. The inner bucket contains the silica pipes, which are attached to the lid, and the mini suckler kit, and the instruction book. The mini suckler kit contains two mini sucker back plates, two teat retainers, two soft white lamb teats, two harder red lamb teats, two non-return valves, two weights, two filters, and some screws for connecting to the lamb pen. The instruction book with the spare parts list. Please read the instruction book before fitting the machine. To set up the mini suckler, having opened the, the packet and laid out the parts, the pipe is not required for the U2 feeder, as silica pipe, which is much softer, is used. Picking up the back plate, firstly insert the teat into the hole, securing it with the screwed back plate retainer. Then the teat unit is ready to be mounted to your feed fence. This can be done with the aid of a screwdriver and the screws provided. Approximately 35 to 40 centimetres off the ground. And screwed to the feed fence. When finished it will look like this. The silica pipe is then connected to the nipple on the back of the back plate, like so. With the aid of a pair of pliers or a pen knife, the non-return valve is inserted approximately six inches from the back of the teat by snipping the pipe, inserting the non-return valve the correct way up, small end facing the U2 feeder, large end facing the teat bracket. And there we have the finished unit. The weight is then connected to the filter. and the weight and filter are both connected to the end of the silica pipe. There needs to be enough silica pipe to reach the bottom of the bucket when the lid is replaced. Having then set the U2 feeder up, before mixing your lamlac milk replacer and putting into the inner bucket, you must add the five litres of water to the outer bucket to which there is a water level mark on the label. Be sure to add the water before turning on the heater element otherwise damage will be caused to the heater element. Once the water is added the heater element can be switched on and your lamlac can then be mixed put into the inner bucket and the inner bucket inserted into the outer bucket. Having now set up your U2 or U2 Plus feeder, we can now look at the benefits of the two systems. The 25 litre feeder, which will do up to 20 lambs, and the 50 litre feeder, which will do up to 40 lambs. 
With the buckets being on the outside of the feeding pen, there is, the lambs cannot knock the buckets over and they are therefore much easier to use from the operator's point of view. The daily maintenance with the system is to clean out the inner bucket once a day. This can be done quite simply by firstly removing the lid. Should you have excess milk in the inner bucket, this can be tipped into a separate bucket and reused. The bucket then can be washed out by using warm water with totally smooth insides. This helps reduce the risk of bacteria. The inner bucket, which must have the element covered with water at all times, can be checked for the water level and as you can see the element is a stainless steel robust unit. Once the unit has been washed and refilled with your Lamlac milk replacer, the lid can then be replaced, cleaning the little filters before doing so. The inline non-return valves should be cleaned once a day by pulling off, rinsing in some warm water and replacing. Teats should be checked on the back plates to make sure they are not split and replaced if necessary to avoid excess air being ingested by the lambs.